Guys, yeah, today I, I'm going to introduce you how to use the angle grinders in the CNC router machine to cut the long piece of aluminum sheet. You can see here, this is the long piece. And if you cut along this line, uh, it's, I think it's not easy or possible to be done in the common hacksaw. Even though I use the manual one cut by hand, it takes much time for me and also it's hard for me to cut such half inch half inch thick aluminum pig. Here is a angle grinder and firstly I made a bracket here yeah. and this circular circular block And this is square here at four area to mount it on the screw use use back the original screw on the grinder. Is it is possible? And this grinder machine use this grinding wheel usually. I check this, it can accept to be mounted so on it by a 100mm cutter. Here is the cutter. This, this is quite a good piece of circular cutter with tungsten carbide tip. The is from Japan and it said that you can cut aluminum exclusion so it is not for heavier cutting aluminum so during our cutting we have to adjust the depth of cut a very small amount And there is originally there is a guy here, and I was told by the cutter blade, uh, cut by by the uh seller for the cutter blade. He said it's very dangerous to be used in this angle grinder. So every time we need to do all the precaution. And when we install the blade on the grinder, we need to wear the hand gloves and put among this guy, protective guy on it when it use, and don't use it manually in cutting. When when install this cutter blade, it can be whole steadily i use it in cnc machine cnc router machine in the next video i forgot to put on this protective guide so don't don't do that always remember and here this is a spindle mount 14 C millimeter in diameter and this was decided to be located in two directions one is here for for longitudinal cutting along the y axis and it also acceptable to be mounted in and right angle here 
so it can cut this in my direction in next video I will show you cutting it in in next axis and my machines have been have adopted the fat current and it's important to to cutting the aluminium we need to have sufficient current and also the machine also equipped us with the protective shield here So it's dangerous in using this type of cutting tools and this protective shoes is uh is necessary. And of course the eye grow eye gorgeous eye glasses is needs protective eye glass is needs. Now it's ready for the start of the cut. And the visa program in the smart fee is used for the cut. is the size slotting and this one the length is 337 and the brake line was put on, was mounted. The position of the brake guy is not very well, but there is something inside, so it can't be rotated counterclockwise. Next time I will uh, try to assemble it in more forward direction. Okay. Start the current. Adjust the nozzle. Also. And carefully turn on the brake. There is a speed adjustment here. And it's now stuck. Because the length of 
cut the required length of cut because the whole length of work piece is longer than the cover of the X axis. At the start of the work piece, I use half saws to cut a length of about 20 mm. So the cutting blade, the start of cut of the cut uh, silver blade is is at, at, at 200 mm. The fun portion, the most fun portion already cut. It. Now the the cutting almost finished. You see the whole machine was inside the closed enclosure. You can see the cutting surface is very good. It must be noted that uh, we have we have to do the flu cuts. Uh, don't attempt to cut short a shorter length than the full length of cuts. Usually, the jumping of the blade happens at the start or end of cut. If it, it start at the at some some location shorter than than the full length of cut, the there is a arc of cut at the end. So. So when the cutting go deeper, deeper, this arc length will increase much more, and uh, jumping will occur. So don't attempt to 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 do other than full length of cut. If at this time the the travel of the x axis is shorter than the full length of cut. The travel only go to this length, so I need to hand cut this portion before in before and it's difficult it's impossible for for cutting a narrow slot by a small cutter in such depth of cuts of half millimeter half inch uh, the 
the small cutter will break easily. And if you use a large milling cutters, a lot of material need to be removed. So it's better to use uh, this this type of cutting blade to do the job. Now the whole set of uh, angle grinder is mounted in 19 degree to the PVC one and the uh, transversal direction cut will be performed immediately and after perform two pa two parts of the transversal cuts three parts will be cut this configuration Driving was performed this, so it will be cut directly. Turn on the pump, take off the paper template. Thank you for your watching.